Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Dust Crochet. So today I want to show how to crochet this turtleneck cowl. This is a very long version, so you can have it on your neck and then you can also pull it up on your ears and most of your head to keep it warm. This is a very easy cowl to crochet. You can do this only by following this tutorial. But if you prefer to follow a written pattern, I will of course leave a link for that down below in the description. So now I will show you how to crochet this one. First, a little about the materials for the yarn. I've used this beautiful cookie yarn. It's called Cookie. And you can see all the info right here. It's 100% acrylic and this recommends a 4.5 to 5 millimeter hook. Uh, I've bought this at Hobby, and I will of course write down in the description how much yarn you will need of this. And then I've used a 5 and a 4 millimeter hook, some scissors and a tapestry needle. First we grab our 4 millimeter hook and then we make a slip knot. Then we chain nine, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, nine times in total. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we skip the first chain, this one, and move on to the second chain, this one, and we single crochet into this. So insert the hook in the second chain and single crochet. And then continue with one single crochet in each chain all the way across. So find your next chain, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. One single crochet in each chain. And we chained up nine, we skipped the first one. So you should have eight single crochet when you're all the way across. And that's your first row. Then you want to turn, so you chain one to turn. And you do this with each row. So you chain one, turn, and then you skip your turning chain, move on to the second one, and then we will do a back loop single crochet. So you have the entire stitch right here, and you only want to go through the back loop of the stitch, which is this one. All right, so skip your turning chain, dive into the back loop of the stitch, and single crochet. And then the next one, back loop, single crochet. And then continue all the way across with one back loop single crochet in each stitch. And that's row two. At the end of the row, you will chain one as always, then turn, skip your turning chain, move on to the second one, back loop, single crochet. And this is just a repeat of row two, so you will do one back loop, single crochet in each stitch all the way across. And then you just work your way back and forth with back loop, single crochet in each stitch. Every time you make it to the end, you chain one and turn, then you continue with one back loop, single crochet back and forth until you have 78 rows in total. When you have 78 rows, you have a beautiful ribbing just like this. Then you take it and fold it and make sure it doesn't twist. Put the ends together and you will now make a seam to connect the ends. So you will do one slip stitch in each stitch through both layers all the way across. So insert the hook through both layers just like this, grab the yarn and pull through everything you have on the hook. Again, push the hook through both layers like this, grab the yarn and pull through everything you have on the hook. And then you just continue all the way across through all old eight, <laughs> all eight stitches with one slip stitch through both layers all the way across until it is connected all the way through. like so and that's it so now your edges are connected and this is the back side so you will now open it up and turn it so you have the right side out and you have your connection right here then you take your hook 
and switch to the 5mm hook instead. Insert that into the loop and then you chain one just to get up and get started. And then you will do one single crochet in each row all the way around. And you see all the rows right here. You have one here and one up here, one in between and so on. You should have 78 rows in total. So you just insert the hook and single crochet. And you insert the hook in this one over here and single crochet. And you will just push in the hook someplace where you find a gap as long as you do it about the same place on each stitch. So just continue like me with one single crochet in each row all the way around. So you will have 78 stitches, 78 ish. When you're all the way around, you have one single crochet in each row. Now I did my final single crochet over here and then I have my first one over here. Now I will just continue in this first stitch. So I will not finish the row. I will just continue on the next row. So I will just insert the hook in the first single crochet I did and then do a single crochet. And then I will continue with one single crochet in each stitch. So I will just do one single crochet and then one single crochet in each stitch. So we are actually working in spirals. So continue with one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you make it back here you see you just continue with one single crochet. Just, uh, just go on even though you're going through this one. Just work in spirals around and around with one single crochet in each stitch. Okay? I continued for 64 rows with the single crochet and this measures about 42 centimeters measuring from the bottom. Now we have the brim on the bottom and I want to add a brim on the top as well. So I throw away this five millimeter hook and will again find my four millimeter hook. And then I will continue from here where I stopped. So I will insert my four millimeter hook. And then remember we did a chain of nine up down here. So I will again chain nine up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I will do one single crochet in each chain all the way to the bottom. Remember, skip your first one, find your second one, insert the hook and single crochet. And then work one single crochet in each chain all the way to the bottom. Remember, we skip the first one, so you should have eight single crochet when we are done. Now I have eight single crochet and I want to pin it down on the bottom. I already worked I already worked in this stitch, so I found find my next stitch, this one. I insert the hook in the next stitch on the bottom, on the edge right here, and then I slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, pull through. And I slip stitch in the next stitch, this one, insert the hook and slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, pull through. Now we want to work back up this again. So we turn the work and then we want to work all the way up in the back loop. But the two slip stitches we just did, we will just pretend they doesn't exist. So just skip these two. So skip the two slip stitches, move on to the first single crochet you did up here and move into the back loop of the stitch to make the ribbing. So you have all your eight single crochet up here. You will work in the first one, but only through the back loop and then work a single crochet. So one back loop single crochet all the way to the top. And you will have eight back loop single crochet when you are there. And at the top, you chain one, then you turn and move all the way down the same way. So skip your turning chain, 
and back loop single crochet. So from now on only work through the back loop of the stitch, just like the rib and the rib you did at the bottom. So only through the back loop, back and forth and back and forth until you have a ribbing all the way around. So now I have eight back loop single crochet. Then we will pin it down on the edge right here. So we already worked in this one. Find your next stitch over here. Insert the hook and slip stitch. And in the next one, slip stitch. So two slip stitches. Whoops. Then we turn. Then we skip our two slip stitches and work in the third stitch over here, only through the back loop. So insert the hook through the back loop of the stitch and single crochet. And one back loop single crochet all the way to the top. At the top you chain one, turn, skip your turning chain and go all the way back. Then you do two slip stitches in the next two stitches at the bottom right here. And then you move all the way up again. So. Repeat this step again and again until you have a ribbing all the way around. Stop. When I'm all the way around, I make sure that I have the wrong side out. Then I will cut the yarn, leaving a bit of a tail so I can sew it up. And then I pull this hook through. You can also make a seam with your hook. Just do like this and then make slip stitches all the way down. But I want to do it with my tapestry needle this time. So I thread my needle. And then I sew it all the way down. So I just make a seam in each stitch all the way down. So at the bottom brim we did with the crochet hook. We did a slip stitch all the way to connect the... Uh, the ends on the on the ribbing but this time on the top I will show you how I do it with the tapestry needle so you can choose either way on both ends I just make a seam all the way to the bottom when I'm at the bottom I weave in my end so I just run the needle through some of the stitches back and forth until it's secure so three times back and forth, then it will be in place. Then I will cut the yarn like this. I will zoom out a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And then I will turn it around so I have the right side out. And we have our little cowl, turtleneck, whatever you want to use it for. This is very nice and warm in this yarn. I have this much yarn left. And that's it. So I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.